Hello, so uh, in this video we shall download and configure PLEAP for a Windows machine. So you just go to the website, follow the link to download the program, and once it is downloaded, open it. Once it's downloaded, extract it. Okay, and that's it. I'll store uh, the program in my documents folder. Well, cut it from here, go to documents, paste. And uh, now you're just, uh, now it's just pretty much the same as we did for the Raspberry Pi machines. We'll first do the first libwide configuration file, double click it, and you give out the internet address. So I'm just going to type the website URL. So this website is going to be online for a minimum of three years. Uh, lots, a lot of uh, the future of the website is going to depend on whether or not uh, I can at least pay for the hosting plan based on whatever the website might bring up. But uh, it's entirely like, everything can run without the website. The website was just nice to have. It's no need to have for the future. So it's future proof. Uh, password was this. Do you wish to verify? You can verify just the same. Type Y, and now it opens uh, the notepad. So just as on the Raspberry Pi, the password is uh, stored as a cipher, and all the rest is the same. Now, if you have to configure this for multiple computers, the best thing to do is take a thumb drive. Um, <coughs> Okay, and you copy the entire PLEAP folder to that. And now you can take the USB drive, go to the other computers, and now uh, then copy it back to the, the documents folder on that computer, and then simply run the configuration for the second uh, .ini file. Let's do that now. So type the name of this device, so now I'm going to give a bad example, let's do something extremely general. And let's verify it. Now you see the terrible settings that are used. And that's pretty much it. What you can do now is you can make a desktop shortcut, I trust you all know how to do this. It's just uh, send to uh, desktop create shortcut and there it is. Now if we run this, the program pops up immediately and the same interface is presented as uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Now on Linux there was an issue with uh, the override redirect which is the script I needed to fill the screen. I had to replace it by the window manager. Uh, so on Linux you have a small bar at the top it is completely absent on uh, Windows. Now let's close the program. What we want to do in, in the next video is create an auto run entry. It's pretty easy. You don't have to do that, but uh, it's the easiest for everyone working in the library. 